Well, morning students. Uh, welcome uh, to your meditation paper, and I will be teaching you today a very beautiful poem from your main course book, Anikam, from your class seven. And the title of the poem you can see here, the squirrel poem. Okay. So let us uh, read the poem and understand. Okay, what is all about the poem, and we'll come to know also the uses of literary devices used in the poem. Okay. So look at the first line of your poem. He wore a question mark for tail. Okay. Now we have to understand whether the square is wearing really a question mark. So what do you mean really actually? Is the square wearing a question mark, or does the tail itself look like a question mark? Okay. So second line will come an overcoat of grey. We have to. Learn also here whether the squirrel actually wearing something like a human being, or it suggests something different. Okay. Now he set up straight to eat a nut. How does the squirrel sit here? He like to eat something. What is the nature of the squirrel? And if we ran around his tree, we went the other way. So wherever somebody is running around you. Then we have to see what the square actually does. Okay, so let us uh, study the whole poem. Now, what happens actually in the poem? You know, when the poet is finding a squirrel, and the squirrel is sitting simply on a ground, you know, just to eat nuts. Okay. Now, when the poet is noticing the squirrel, the poet finds something unusual. Okay, something typical, and he. Says your type of he is wearing a question mark for tail. The way the squirrel is sitting, okay. You see the position of the tail. You know it looks like question mark. And you all might have noticed also. You know the squirrel. You know the way they sit. Okay. So this is a common thing. You know I do not find anything on his tail here. It's a common thing that if you see any squirrel sitting on ground, so obviously the tail. It looks like something you know in a bending position. Okay, so it appears like a question mark. Okay, now an overcoat of grey. Now what is the meaning of the second line? Okay, overcoat of grey means is the squirrel really wearing a coat made of grey color? So this is a uh, absolutely wrong one because the poet talks about here the body parts of the. Square. Okay, the fur itself looks uh, like, or the complexion of the square is itself grey. Okay, the body parts. So how is the square sitting in the third line? You see, he set up straight to eat or not. Okay, he is sitting very upright and just eating not on the ground, and he is very familiar, very playful because he likes to. And play with. If children come near him, okay. So he likes to eat and play with. Because children, I have seen you know, uh, almost all time, you know, they just follow the squirrel. They like to play with him, and the squirrel also likes to tease and play. So if you run around his tree, then he will go the other way. You know. So as soon as it disappears, okay, it will go behind the tree. If you run near him, okay. So this is all about a very simple poem, and I hope that you know you all have uh, understood it. So in our next uh, session, I will just uh, uh, tell you about the other uses of literary devices also, and I will just uh, give you some question answer so that you can uh, write for your exams. So till that time, thank you and have a very nice day.